This link here explains how to reset passwords on a Cisco 3560 switch. So how do we recover a lost or forgotten password on a 3560 switch? There are two options, one when password recovery is enabled and one when it's disabled. In our example, we have a default configuration where password recovery is permitted. So we need to connect to the console of the device. Now in Packet Tracer, we can either do that by dragging a PC into the topology and then connecting it via a console cable. So I could connect to the console of the switch and have a look. at the switch directly through the console. Password here is unknown. I'm not gonna do it that way. I'm simply gonna click on the device which gives me a console connection anyway. But please be aware that in the real world, you would need to physically connect a PC to the console of your switch or router when doing password recovery. Now the next step is to make sure that you're using 9,600 bits per second in your terminal emulation software. That's the default in Packet Tracer. We need to power off the switch and then reconnect the power cord. And then within 15 seconds, press the mode button while the system LED is still flashing green. Continue pressing the mode button until the system LED turns briefly amber and then solid green and then release the mode button. Now in my example, I can't physically unplug the power through packet tracer. So I'm gonna power cycle the devices. That power cycles all of the devices, but I've already reset the configuration of my routers, so that's fine. I'm gonna press the mode button on the switch which then allows me to access ROMMON on the switch. Now some tips. If that doesn't work, power cycle the device and then click the mode button two or three times to get Packet Tracer to take you to ROM monitor mode. So notice now that the boot process was terminated, question mark enter, shows me that I'm in ROM mon mode. Now that we've got into ROM monitor mode, we need to use the command flash init. So here's the command flash init. We told that the flash is already initialized. So be aware that packet tracer may be a little bit different to the real world. This command as an example is not required and is not supported in Packet Tracer. So the next command is to look at flash. So DRR flash. There's the contents of flash on the switch. We told to rename the config text file as config text old. So there's our config text file. So rename flash config text as flash config text old. Before I press enter, let's verify that. That's what we told to do, so that looks right. Press enter, dr flash. The file has been renamed. So that was the original name. This is the new name. Now in the real world, when you boot the switch, it will take you to the initial configuration dialog. So boot, let's see if that actually works in Packet Tracer. What we should be able to do is now bypass the configuration and type enable, and then rename the config back to what it was, copy the configuration, reset passwords and save the configuration, and then reload the switch. So for the real world, 
have a look at the Cisco documentation for your relevant device. In Packet Tracer, however, the original configuration has been applied, so that doesn't work entirely. So what I'm gonna do is erase the startup configuration. We do have the startup configuration in Flash. We can't see that here, but if I go back to the physical device view and power cycle the device and press the mode button, notice in Flash I can see the original configuration. So I could use that to replace the running config on the switch. So what I'm gonna do is boot the switch and then once it's booted, I'll be able to raise the NVRAM. Switch is now booted up. Again, enable doesn't work. I'm gonna raise the NVRAM. That actually has taken me directly to privilege mode in Packet Tracer. That wouldn't happen in the real world. What we need to do is power cycle the device again. And now when it reboots, we should see an initial configuration dialog, which we do, which I can now bypass. So essentially in Packet Tracer, we had to do an extra step. We didn't just boot the device up, we had to erase the startup configuration in Packet Tracer and then boot the device. So if I type enable, I'm in privilege mode. So show startup configuration shows us that no startup configuration exists, but I do have this file stored in flash. So I could now follow the steps on the Cisco documentation and rename the file that command isn't supported in Packet Tracer. So what I'm gonna do is simply copy the configuration to the running config. So copy flash config.text.old to running config. Doesn't like that command, so let's do a copy flash to running config source file will be config.text.old destination will be the running config notice now that a loopback interface has come up switch name has changed to switch one previously it was switch now it's switch one so show run shows us the secret password of the switch which we don't know you can see the host name we can see some other configuration on the switch, including EIGRP and an IP address on the switch.